Judiciary and Judicial Review in India, Merits and Demerits. Welcome to Knowledge Hub. I'm so excited to share my knowledge and expertise with you to help you succeed in your competitive exam preparation. In this video, we'll be discussing Judiciary and Judicial Review in India, Merits and Demerits, so grab a pen and paper and let's dive in. The judiciary is one of the three pillars of the government in India, the other two being the executive and legislative. It is responsible for upholding the rule of law and ensuring justice for all citizens. The judiciary consists of various courts, including the Supreme Court, High Court, District Court, and subordinate courts. The judiciary is also responsible for judicial review, which is the power to review the constitutionality of laws passed by the legislature. The Supreme Court is the highest court of appeal in India. It is located in New Delhi and is composed of a chief justice and other judges. The Supreme Court has the power of judicial review, which allows it to review the constitutionality of laws passed by the legislature. It is also responsible for hearing appeals from lower courts and for issuing writs to protect fundamental rights. The High Court is the second highest court in India, and each state has its own High Court. The High Court has the power of judicial review and is responsible for hearing appeals from subordinate courts. The High Court is also responsible for issuing writs to protect fundamental rights. The subordinate courts are the district courts, which are located in each district of the country. The district courts are responsible for hearing cases related to civil and criminal matters. The subordinate courts are also responsible for upholding the rule of law and ensuring justice for all citizens. The judiciary has a three-tier structure. The Supreme Court is the highest court of appeal, followed by the High Court and the subordinate courts. The Supreme Court has the power of judicial review, which allows it to review the constitutionality of laws passed by the legislature. The High Court is responsible for hearing appeals from subordinate courts, while the subordinate courts are responsible for hearing cases related to civil and criminal matters. Judicial review is the power of the judiciary to review the constitutionality of laws passed by the legislature. The power of judicial review is an essential part of the system of checks and balances in a democratic society. The power of judicial review ensures that the legislature does not overstep its authority and that the fundamental rights of citizens are protected. In conclusion, the judiciary plays a crucial role in upholding the rule of law and ensuring justice for all citizens. The judiciary consists of various courts, including the Supreme Court, High Court, and subordinate courts. The judiciary also has the power of judicial review, which is essential for the protection of fundamental rights and the system of checks and balances in a democratic society. The judiciary is an essential part of the government and plays a critical role in upholding the democratic values of the country. Merits of this system There are several merits of the judiciary and judicial review system in India, including 1. Protection of fundamental rights The judiciary and judicial review system ensure that fundamental rights of citizens are protected. The judiciary can strike down any law that violates the fundamental rights of citizens. 2. Checks and balances the power of judicial review provides an important check on the powers of the legislative and executive branches. This ensures that the government functions within the limits of the constitution. 3. Impartiality The judiciary is an independent and impartial body that is not influenced by external factors. This ensures that justice is served fairly and impartially. 4. Accountability The judiciary is accountable to the people of the country. Any decision taken by the judiciary can be scrutinized by the public, which ensures that the judiciary works in the best interest of the people. 5. Predictability The judiciary and judicial review system provide a predictable and stable legal environment. The judiciary interprets the law, which provides guidance to the legislative and executive branches on how to act within the confines of the constitution. 6. Legal certainty The judiciary and judicial review system provide legal certainty. The judiciary ensures that the law is applied uniformly and consistently, which provides predictability in the legal system. In conclusion, the judiciary and judicial review system in India provide several merits, including the protection of fundamental rights, checks and balances, impartiality, accountability, predictability, and legal certainty. These merits are essential for upholding the rule of law and ensuring justice for all citizens. Demerits of this system while the judiciary and judicial review system in India have several merits, there are also some demerits associated with it. These include 1. Delay in justice. The judiciary in India is known for its slow pace of delivering justice, which often results in a delay in the resolution of cases. This can lead to frustration and dissatisfaction among citizens. 2. Overburdened courts. The courts in India are often overburdened with a large number of cases, which results in further delays in delivering justice. 
This is due to a shortage of judges, support staff, and infrastructure. 3. Judicial activism. Sometimes, the judiciary may overstep its boundaries and become too active in areas that are within the jurisdiction of the legislative and executive branches. This can lead to a conflict between the judiciary and other branches of the government. 4. Lack of transparency. The judiciary in India lacks transparency, and the appointment of judges is often shrouded in secrecy. This can lead to allegations of favoritism and nepotism. 5. Corruption. The judiciary in India is not immune to corruption, and there have been cases of judges taking bribes or engaging in other unethical practices. This can undermine public confidence in the judiciary and the legal system. 6. Limited scope of judicial review. The power of judicial review is limited to the constitutionality of laws. It does not extend to other areas such as policy decisions, which can limit the judiciary's ability to check the powers of other branches of the government. In conclusion, while the judiciary and judicial review system in India have several merits, there are also some demerits associated with it, including delays in justice, overburdened courts, judicial activism, lack of transparency, corruption, and limited scope of judicial review. These demerits need to be addressed to ensure that the judiciary and the legal system continue to serve the best interests of the people. Thanks for tuning into today's video on Judiciary and Judicial Review in India, Merits and Demerits. I hope you found it informative and helpful in your exam preparation. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips, strategies, and information to help you succeed in your studies. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'll be happy to respond. Thanks again, and good luck in your exam preparation.